Yusha is, is better at range, I would say. <laughs> All right, guys, what is going on? Fly here. Welcome back to the channel today. No suspense at all because uh, I showed the vehicle in the intro and it's on the title. But before I show you the vehicle to add a little bit of suspense, let me show you how OP fucking homing rockets are. It's fucking ridiculous. Hang on. Oh, by the way, uh, we got an upgraded press account. So if you guys want to see anything, let me know. We pretty much have everything in the game. Um, so we have all the weapons. Yeah, dude, it's insane. So if you guys want to see anything, let me know. I, like a comment can, or a comment can be, yo, I want to see the 20 millimeter Gat or the Vulcan minigun. You can let me know in the comments below. But all right, so I want to show you how OP <clears throat> homing missiles are. So let's get some of these launchers here. Let's clear out this sector. Yeah, there we go. We don't need that. Uh, where did this? Oh, it's it's right there. Okay. Now let me fit one more. No more? Okay, so we got four of these things. Now, you know, <clears throat> you know, fire and forget missiles have been around for quite a bit of time, but like, to have these things in a post-apocalyptic world is fucking insane. And this is what I mean by insane. Okay, you ready? I mean, come on, man. Those things track for so long. Here, I'll show, I'll show them to you again, and we'll follow them with the camera as best as I can. Okay, there they go. I can't see them right now. There they go. Incoming, raining down fire. Oh. They didn't have... We didn't... Push them up enough to get all the way around. We're gonna need some more speed, I guess. Let's just fuck this thing up real quick. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, come on. Like, if if Crossout has homing missiles in the game, we really need like some type of chaff or flare to use. Alright, here we go. Okay, that's a good one. There they go. Coming down for the kill. Boom! Tango down. But all right, so the point of this video is to showcase a build that um, one of my followers on Twitter built. And it is a... Uh, oh, here it is. It is a Katusha. Katusha launcher. Now, what he says is that he didn't have... He built this thing and he didn't have enough parts to finish it. So we're going to finish it for him. And what we're going to do is that we're going to put two Cricut 17M launchers on the rear and hopefully that will kind of look like a Katusha as best as we can <clears throat> make it in the game. But right now this craft is fucking awesome, man. Uh, this is 55 out of 55 and on my normal account I'm level 17 and I don't even have enough to put on any additional equipment. Luckily, thanks to this uh, beefed up press account, we have the ability. So let's get started with the um, platform for the launchers. We'll make it look kind of rugged, but um, we got to make it high to get over that cabin in front. So let's start with, um, we can do av panels or we can do, ooh, I think I know what I want to do. So we'll start with some av panels real quick. We got 99 of, oh my God, so easy. Okay, we'll build it like this. Another one right here, another one right here, another one right here and then hang on put this bad girl right here mm, I think we can make it look more like sleek but it this is a Russian vehicle it's not supposed to look sleek at all not at oh look at that large slope that thing's that that, that would have been nice for the t-34s lower and upper places uh, wide slope here Hmm. I think I want to put the rockets right there, though. Oh, yes. Now we'll put one more AV panel in. Now, can these small truck slopes do the business? No, they're the same dimension as the wide ones. Okay, let's put one more AV panel in. Where'd you go? Okay, so I think that's enough height to get the rockets over. 
our um, cabin here. Now let's go to the weapons. The Cricket 17M. So I apologize about how these things have to be placed, but I think, oh, what, not enough energy? Okay, hang on. Now there's a, look at this, we have a gas generator. This one adds um, three power, uh, but if it gets destroyed, it does 1500 damage in 10 meter radius. This one only does 350, so I think I might put this one in. It just, it doesn't look good though, you know? And there's really no place for us to put it underneath maybe underneath but then we would get rid of like two more panels here i think we'll stick i think we'll stick that uh gas generator in here somewhere oh my gosh a level of detail oh wait i didn't give him a shout out on who created it um here let me go to the exhibition and look it up so this is the guy who made it, Larry underscore Illinois or IL. We thank you so much for your commitment and design on the Katusha. Thank you, man. Okay, so what we're going to do is that we're going to put the gas generator inside here, but we have to get rid of some stuff and not get too confused on what we got rid of here. So I think I might remove from the side. There we go. Okay. Now, is that enough room? Oh, this thing's fucking big, dude. I thought this thing was so much smaller. Oh yeah, doesn't the hazardous generator? Okay, that that's much smaller, and I think we're able to mount it in, on top of the end or in this area right here. So let's get rid of some stuff we don't need. But a lot of this stuff helps the craft. Okay, let's just put. Yes, beautiful. Okay, on top. No one even notices a difference. All right, so we have enough power. Uh, now, if they shoot our front like they're going to and they hit that thing, um, it's we're really going to explode. Now, this is also taking a power away from us. Let's see this thing. Now, do we have enough power to mount another one? Mm, Okie dokie. Now, we can get rid of that and maybe put a structure in there. Now, that radiator looks really... Uh, See, we can't do that, but it won't hold anything together. We need, I think, a, a quarter steel. Or a quarter wall, excuse me. Two, maybe? Okay. Maybe we can put this instead. It looked like the radiator. That looks okay. I like that. That's a good alternative to the radiator. So now this will give us enough energy to put down two of these bad boys. Now... Uh, to make it, it, it is SAF right here, but I think to make it look much better, we're going to have to add some type of um, support for the uh, end of them, at least in my brain. Ooh, but this is a van slot here. Mm, quarter wall would work. We can just put it vertically. Yeah, there's really no placement on... Mm, No, I think we're just going to have to make it look like that. Unless there's a longer... Ah. Okay. We'll do this. Yes. Beautiful. Now, someone could easily shoot this thing off. <laughs> but, dude, that looks awesome, man. We got two cricket launchers. Katusha is complete. I think that looks pretty damn good. Now, maybe to make it even look a little bit cooler, we can add two of these at a time. Yes. Okay, that looks pretty damn good. The rear, not so much, but if they if they see us, they're pretty much dead anyways. I'll show you what this thing can do before we take it out. Do we have enough? Oh, maybe one more. Look at that. I can't fire in front of me too well. Like, this is no problem. Oh my gosh. I think I'm about to raise it one more up, and that's gonna make it look kind of derpy. But we need, you know, some war equipment isn't supposed to look too nice here. Okay, I think this will do it. Now let's make it look a little nice. Okay, we got big ones of those. Yeah! I'll take that. That looks fine with me. 
Test drive. Okay, we're able to get right there. We'll, we'll take that. The could. <laughs> my gosh. Let's go ahead and fire these things as far as we can. <clears throat> okay, Alt Z. Fire one. Oh my god. Now, if I can just put the sound effect for the Katusha launcher or the rocket system in place of these, that would be awesome. Another thing we might have to add is a ammo box because we only have six of these, or, well, we only have six now, so we had eight in total. Math is awesome. The amount of splash damage these cricket launchers do is insane. And the damage. Like, they're so spread out that you just aim kind of around there, and they're bound to take off something essential to the craft's mobility or firepower. Rip impact. God, man. This is going to be awesome. And we have 1,500 uh, health points. Uh, what I want, I wanted to add an ammo box. Okay, so let's go to hardware. Now, let's see how much this will this will add. 11. Now, can we stack those? It has to be stackable. Okay, so there's 14. So this 14 is as much ammo as if we were to get that uh, expandable huge ammo pack, right? Yeah, so why would I use this expandable one? This purple one than two blues that are much cheaper. The durability on it, it's much better, but other than that, it even does, well, it does less damage if you think about it. Um, but I'm going to use those, those two small ammo packs just because they look better in my opinion. Yeah, that looks awesome. All right, ready to take it out. Let's see how we do. All right, here we go. We're on factory. Now, I decided to take out two more <laughs> because why not? Um, now, if we do, <laughs> if someone shoots these ammo packs, we are royally screwed. And if that's the case, if that happens two games in a row, we'll probably hide them underneath the craft a little bit. Maybe in those slots beneath the tires. Okay, we got a push here. Oh, gosh. Okay. We got, we got AI galore here. Now, are there any snipers over here? Prepare to get rocketed if, oh my god, Joseph's got a, uh, a fucking homing Oh gosh. That was a good strike, but I don't think they were, okay, we got Steven over here. Come here, Steven. Yes. On the reload. Ooh, we actually, have some, we actually have some guys behind us, I think. 464 damage right there. Wow, rockets are so easy. Oh no, I think we're going to... Uh, this is not the good. Time to reverse here. We need to go save the cap. <laughs> oh my god, we're so fucked. Hello! And, they're, and we're not on a turret at all, so if someone's behind us or anything, we're screwed. Oh, look at this guy. What's up, dude? There we go. He's down. Now we got some guys pushing in here, so let's get ready to defend. None, none of that. None of that there. Okay, so we're in cover right now. Okay, rockets up. Oh, we hit him. We hit, we hit him, though. God, this thing has some nice armor in the front. Our hazardous generator is exposed now. He's still holding firm right there. Oh, no. Oh, no. Shit, 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 shit. Okay, we're, we're, we're ready to engage. Yes, dude. Okay, let's go to the cap and try to defend. We got one more player. Katusha is OP, dude. Fuck yeah. Oh, oh crap. Denger's going in. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Come on! Yes! Katusha! Fuck yeah! 
That was awesome. Already the missiles. Backblast cleared. Oh my gosh. Hopefully those hit some... Oh my gosh. A detonation. I can hear them exploding, but nope, no damage yet. Uh-oh. Looks like this guy might need some help. Oh, no, he's still okay. Let's go up here and get into a sniping position. Or we'll actually... I think what we'll do is we'll... We'll defend from the AIs coming through. Oh god, we got some guy over here. He might have lock-on missiles from that area. He's just camping there. We're gonna launch some down there anyways. No hits yet. Oh, we got a big push down below. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna follow Anthony here. No, I kinda- I really just kinda wanna sit here. Oh, we got a big guy coming across the street. Get ready for it. Good hits right there. Come on, finish him. Yes. Good. Oh, shit. One more guy over the top. On the reload. 200 damage right there. Our right's clear for the most time, or the meantime, excuse me. Oh my god, he just dodged all those rockets. He's going into cover, it looks like. Oh, we couldn't get one more hit on him. Okay, we got 12 rounds left. Yes, we got a hit right there. Okay, there's one more guy left. Come meet your maker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh god, that hurt. Yes, GG. Woo! Why is this Katusha so damn good right now? Okay, we gotta be really careful this time. We're on the Founders Canyon, Canyon with the faces of the planet future. I don't, I don't know what the fuck they're talking about with that message. But maybe it's too deep for me to understand. But what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna be sitting my ass right here, like a Katusha should. And just letting the rockets do the talking. Letting the rockets do the talking. I don't know why I'm so excited to use this thing. Alright, ready to... Oh, God, Alyssa's already here. Alyssa, isn't it past your fucking bedtime? Oh, God, she, she, she did a maneuver there. I wasn't ready for that. Oh, God, they're all pushing this way. No, 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 no. Come this way, boys. Come this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come down here. Oh god, I think he's behind us. We got one guy on fire. I think I'm gonna push in now. It's time to show him what we have. Katusha OP! <laughs> I didn't do anything this battle. I did, oh my gosh, my team's so good. I just sat here and did absolutely nothing. Alright, is it clear, guys? <laughs> We'll just, we'll just, oh shit, I think there's someone right over here actually, so hang on. Yes! No, no, okay, run away. No, 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 run, 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 run! Help! 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 Okay, he hasn't hit our ammo packs yet. Okay, it's uh, Dirk, Dirk Kata. What's up, dude, over here? <laughs> Gonna run <running> away. <laughs> oh god, I think he sees me. Get the... No, Katusha, go, go. <laughs> Alright, time to, time to flank here. Nice. Beautiful, we gotta go for the cap here. Please don't one camp this. Oh god, oh god, go, go, yes! Oh, clutch. Oh, clutch. I'm gonna sit my fat ass right. I'm gonna sit my fat Katusha ass right. Okay, yep, I'll just die right here. This is good. Say goodbye to my family. If you can, there you go. Nope. Oh, he got me there. Okay, so there's there's 35 seconds left. This guy is almost fucked. I think Dirk, Dirk Kata is pretty messed up as well. The thing is that we need someone to go back to their our base and defense. I think he's on our way there right now. Also, after this game, I'm gonna paint the camo on the top of my um, uh, Katusha setup, just because um, it's, it's, it doesn't match, comrade. Do it. Do it. Do it. Yes. Oh 
Oh, he got him! That was sick, dude! Beautiful. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. G, G with the Katusha. So let's go back to the hangar or the garage and uh, camo out our craft a little bit. <laughs> we did so much that game. <laughs> and like the one engagement that I got and I could totally got wrecked by that guy. All right, um, let's go to decor. Damn, we have a lot actually. Ooh, we can get a little bit, maybe more of a Russian green here. No, where, why is there no Russian green in here? We have everything that they have to offer right now. I don't know. That doesn't... There's no, like, dark green. There's this iguana. Like, that's of color. It's actually an animal. I know that. This is a little bit darker color. I wish you could, you could combine paint schemes. Nope, we'll keep it bright neon green because duh. Oh wow, does this thing look nine times better already? Wait, didn't someone teach me like you press O? Ah, so if you press O, I got this from a comment in the uh, comment section below a couple of videos ago. If you press O, you're able to paint the whole craft whatever color you want in one go. Ooh, dude, that looks so much better though. Oh man, that is a great paint scheme. All right, let's go gold. Oh man, look how shiny it is. I'm a rich ditch. Um, this is the one I was talking about. This, dude, that one looks really good too. That one looks better than I expected it to. I'm torn between uh, this one this one or let's try this one I think I like that kind of Christmas green man it looks really nice with the vehicle and it kind of reminds me of the uh, paint scheme used in Russian aircraft you know like on the Tupolev 154 the Meigs the Mikhail's alright let's see this new camo oh man wow now we're a war vehicle no more of the clown camo. I, f I felt like with that neon green, we were just like a clown car with rockets, you know, just like little toy rockets. But this, with, with, with this camo, even though it's not perfect, it makes me feel much more badass and confident in this. Okay, I'm gonna follow King of the Beavers because if you got, if you have a guy named King, oh gosh, who's this, Sergi? All right, we got one hit though. We got watch out for our right side. We got a sniper over there. I'm always in this guy's way. Sorry, buddy. Okay, Sergi should be going down. I wouldn't turn my back yet. They might be all just pushing out right now. All right, good. Looks clear over there. We're gonna turn this bad. Oh no, okay, we're gonna go this way to the left. Sorry, trying to get my, it's kind of hard to steer with only one wheel or uh, one chassis. Oh shit, here we go. No hits at all. Damn it. Now, <laughs> I'm just going to push through. If one of them pushes through up here, I'm going to follow them. Looks like uh, King of the Beavers is now... Uh-oh. Someone just flanked me there. Oh my gosh, what just happened? I have no idea. What's up, dude? Yeah, <laughs> Katusha rules. O'Doyle oh, rules. Now, do we want to go back to the base or do we want to keep continuing? Let's go back. Okay, let's go. F no, I think I have to go back and try to like stop them because, yeah, 85, 84. Yeah, I, I think all of us should have gone back, but uh, Ethan just destroyed. Oh shit, dude! Get out of here, Ethan! Don't don't hurt me, Ethan. Good job, Ethan. Good. Yeah, that was a good play here. Hey, where did this guy go? I saw somebody up here a second ago. What the fuck? He's... Okay, yeah, there he is right there. Okay, don't worry about that. We gotta save this game. Katusha is better at range, I would say. <laughs> 
Do you guys ever have those moments in your life when um, you're speechless and everyone around you and you know that you got fucked up? Yeah, that's what just happened to me right there. But hopefully we can make it up this game. We're just waiting to flank with the Katusha. Let's move in now. My gosh. that The guy who killed me, he had like... Oh, shiitake mushrooms. The guy who killed me had like 9,000 wheels. They were all different colors. I mean, like, the, the, the camo he had, it confused me. I didn't know what he was. I thought he was a centipede, if anything. Okay, so, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, but... Does anyone want to get flanked with the Katusha? Full power. Let's move, let's move. Oh, yes. Oh, here's the guy who killed me last game. Das Vidanya Zuka. Don't fire them. Yes! 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 Payback's a bitch! Son! Yeah, yeah! <laughs> Woo! Okay, this is my territory now, bitch! Look at me! I am sniper now! Okay, so we got some guys over here. We're gonna cap that. I wish that AI would get, get out of there. Is there anyone over here? I don't see anybody. Fuck yeah, Katusha OP as hell. Don't cap, William, you stupid AI. You ruin everything. Even my fun. I hate AIs in this game, but that's a, that's a game. That's a GG. Guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have any other suggestions uh, for builds or uh, parts you want me to feature, let me know in the comments below. And oh my gosh, I think our wheels are dead. Until next time, boys, have a great day. Peace out.